Taiwan Walker will look to shake off the effects of that horrid last start against the Braves. His ERA going into that last start was 2.79, and he gave up eight runs. Jonathan India pops the first pitch up right near the mound. Who's going to take it? Giorme from third, Alonzo from first. The guy with the bigger glove makes the catch, and that's how we start. Senzel hits a roller past the mound. Lindor flashing to his left. No day off needed. His first breaking ball is popped up on the right side. Another chance for Alonzo. No. Called off by McNeil. Side retired. Six pitches. A 1 2 3 inning for Walker. Mets come to bat with no score. TJ Zoik. From Western and Southern, he makes his Reds debut. Well, the feel good moment for Zoik has already happened, like right now. So from here on, though, he's all business. And Nimmo is hit by the pitch. So after running a 3 2 count, Nimmo gets plunked. Nimmo runs. Lindor takes ball four. The throw is superfluous, and the Mets have two men on. And the Mets have runners at first and second with nobody out. Pete Alonso coming up after the first Mets walk of the game. Up the middle, and Alonso's got a base hit. Nimmo around third, and he'll come in with the first run of the game. The no, throw no. goes to third. That's a mistake. That'll allow no. Alonso to the second. The Mets have a run in. 96th run batted in for Alonzo. Senzel made the mistake of throwing to third, where he had no chance to get Lindor, Man. and that enabled Alonzo to take the extra base. Popped up. That's going to help a lot. Barrero rolling to his right at the true shortstop spot. 0 2 from Zoik. And it's drilled to right field. Coming toward the line is Almora. He'll make the catch. Tagging at third, Lindor. Almora's throw to the plate is not in time. Alonzo moves to third. Sacrifice fly from McNeil makes it 2 0 New York. Joey Votto leads off. Votto opposite way sends that over Guillaume. Gathered by Nimmo. And Votto's got his first knock of the series. And that cutter in for a call strike three. Walker gets Solano looking. Gets this one out to left center field. Back in the gap goes Canna, and he makes the catch. Back to first base goes Votto, two out. Better than the blue blockers. Fly ball out to left. Canna coming in this time. A long way to go, and he makes the basket catch. The 3 1 outside and low ball four. And once again, Boyk gives the Mets a leadoff base runner. Grounded right side, Canna breaks, glove by India, spins, accurate throw to Barrero, that's all. Fielder's choice reach for Guillaume as they nip Canna at second. McCann lofts one into shallow center, and that's going to fall for a base hit. Well read by Guillaume, he'll go first to third. McCann makes contact, Guillaume with terrific base running, and the Mets have runners at the corners with one out. Swing and a miss, strike three. No second out for Zoik. And Francisco Lindor coming up. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a liner the other way. That's a base hit. In the score is Guillaume. Around third coming home McCann. The throw will go to second. And on at first with a two run single is Francisco Lindor. The Mets have a 4 0 lead. And with that hit and those two runs batted in, Francisco Lindor has now tied. The New York Mets single season record for RBIs by a shortstop. And he rips one in the left field for his second hit of the day. Okay, it's not going well for Zoik. Lindor to second and Daniel Vogelback coming up. Vogelback lines one past the glove of Barrero into center field. Lindor will score. Alonzo to third. Vogelback with an RBI single. And it's five to nothing, New York. Two balls, two strikes on Tyler Naquin. Zoik from the windup, his pitch. Naquin hammers one in the air, deep to right field. Almora goes back. He'll watch it go. It is gone. Home run. Tyler Naquin just gulped that one out to right field. He hit it near the Shea Bridge out in deep right center. He's on the base for Joey Votto. Reds have three hits, all singles. This ball is a bullet fair down the right field line. It stays fair all the way into the corner. And trouble with it for Naquin in the right field corner as Farmer rounds third comes the plate the throw not nearly in time and it's an RBI double for Joey Votto. He just barely kept it fair but it stayed fair all the way down the line so it never hit off that sidewall that juts out toward the line past first. And Solano hits one slowly to the right side that will advance the runner. 
McNeil makes the play bottom to third with one out. And now Fraley rips a fly ball sinking out to right center field coming on Nimmo the catch is made Votto tags at third he will score on the sacrifice fly from Jake Fraley so he cashes in on the RBI opportunity it's his ninth run batted in the year here is Kyle Farmer runner on at first base with two outs Walker deals and Farmer loops a liner over the shortstop that'll land in left field in front of Kenna. Up to second base, India on the single left field by Kyle Farmer. Well, Joey Votto can get into one here. First pitch curveball oh. hits him. He leaned into it. He did. And Walker is protesting and saying well, Votto made no effort to get out of the way, and Buck Showalter is going to come out as well. He, Votto clearly leaned into that pitch. He certainly did, and you can't do it. Now, the rule, because we learned when opening day with Conforto. I mean. Come on. Well, I guess it's, but not, it's not a challengeable play, so it's the discretion of the umpires on the field. And Solano with the bases loaded, but he hits a ground ball to the right side, booted, recovered by Lindor, throws the first in time, and check that McNeil, and that retires the side. Naquin gets one out to left center. That's hit well. Back in the gap goes Senzel, and he won't get there. Hits off the base of the wall, and Naquin's got yet another extra base hit against the team that traded him away. He had a triple the other night, and today a home run and a double. And Naquin putting a hurt on his old team. But now they're going to walk Canna intentionally and bring up another left-hand hitter in Guillaume. That's hit toward the hole, and on the backhand, Barrero is throwing a first not nearly in time, and it gets by Votto, and in the score comes Naquin. Barrero probably should have put that ball in his pocket. He had no chance to throw out Guillaume. And the ball went out of play. And so Guillaume is going to advance to second. It's an infield hit for Guillaume and Aaron Barrero. Now they're loaded for Vogelback. Vogelback singled in a run in the second. He's also popped to short and struck out. Here it is. And it's pulled towards first fair ball beyond the reach of a diving Votto down the line. Caroms off the jutting stands. Nimmo is in. Lindor is in. Vogelback digs for second, slides in safely. The ball gets away. Backed up by the third baseman Solano digging for the plate as Alonzo. And he's tagged out as he tries to get in with a head first slide. However, two run score. Vogelback is at second. And the Mets now lead 9 to 2. Pinch away to McNeil, who is 0 for 2, that 12 game hit streak in jeopardy. McNeil goes the other way, and that's a fair ball going down the line. That'll bring in Vogel back. McNeil trades places with him, and it's 10 to 2, New York. Boy. A 1 2 to Senzel. Breaking ball swung on and missed. Put it in the box. The New York Mets have swept a three game series from the Cincinnati Reds.